Okay, welcome back everyone. We've got two endings to Clock Tower so far. We're going to try to go for the third one. But now I need to inform you guys. Like I mentioned, the game sort of has a bit of a random nature to it. So even though I may be aiming to get one particular ending, I might not actually get that ending. And there are going to be some elements of that beyond my control. So this means two things. One, I may have to do some clever edi editing to get me to uh, show you the endings I want. And you may not be watching the videos in uh, recorded order. So even though I'm talking now about our third video, this may end up being our fourth or fifth. So let's see if some of this random nature exerts some of itself. I believe the last time we were in here, the TV turned on, and there was no lock. There was no lock. There was no key in that box. Well, let's turn on the lights. Oh, oh, look what happened there. Blood! Yeah, that creepy painting. There's strange things going on in this place. It appears to be broken. Yeah, TV still won't work. It's empty. Alright, so sometimes there's a key in that box. Since that key is not in that box this time, it means we're going to find it somewhere else. Now let's go play with our parrot. It's useful to deal with this parrot, so that way we have an extra hiding spot in case Scissor Man is chasing us around. A parrot! It's not a very nice parrot. Hi, Jennifer. Thing is, that parrot's not dead or anything. It's just stuck under that blanket. Okay, there are some things I did not do in this room last time we visited. And that was check these drawers. There's a small bottle of perfume. It's the same as our teacher's, Miss Mary's. Okay, this is a very important item. Now, nothing should be new about this picture. Looks like two babies. Now, something might be different about this mirror. Yes. All right. Come on, fight, 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 struggle. Ugh. Yeah, I had to tap the uh, action button fast there. Otherwise, our I guess our reflection would have strangled us to death. All right, Jen, I think you need to just sit down, relax for a second. Not going to sit down, relax. That's fine. We'll leave. There's the bathroom, we hear that dripping, and the music starts. But maybe you're wondering, what if we just avoid the bathroom? 
What if we just walk past it? Well, skipping the bathroom gives us this. And... So yeah, Scissor Man will show up in different ways if we skip the bathroom. Move. Move, Jen. Now, I don't know if I'm going to make it to the parrot room. There we go. So, remember I kind of told you the, the girls sort of have this, like, Schrodinger's cat thing going on? They're, they're either alive or dead until we know for sure. So, for all we know, Laura's alive. We didn't go into the bathroom and see her corpse. But we know Anne is very, very dead. Now, on top of that, the endings we get can change depending on who Scissor Man's first victim is. It's not a tremendously big difference, but there are certain endings you can only get if the bathroom is the first place you go to. Uh, there's that phone again. I'm hoping that's a good sign. Now we, I want us to go upstairs. Thank you. That's all right, Jennifer. Take your time. We're going to make our way over that storage room where we usually hid from Scissor Man. I told you there were a whole bunch of things in that room to check out, but we weren't going to need them because we were getting the first endings. Now we are going to want the things. Alright, fingers crossed. Who knows where Scissor Man might show up. The light switch doesn't seem to work. It's a canister of insecticide. Picked up insecticide. Always useful stuff. Well, talking about always useful... There's some rope here. Now, while I may have said rope is always useful, it's... Not a necessary item in this uh, game, but we may get a chance to use it, we may not. Let's find out. Oh, no good. Can't climb it. Well, you're not going to have to climb it. We're going to use this box here. The big old crate. We did check this crate before and we found some black robes in here. It has clothing inside. 
What kind of clothes are these? Obtained a black robe. All right, so Jennifer was going to automatically climb over. And we're going to head out. Because so we got what we need in here. I would really like it if you would just kind of sit down and rest for a second. Recover some of your stamina. There we go. Which I'm pretty much just going to use up right quick anyways. So, there's something up in the wall over here. It seems to be a bird's nest. Well, let's see if we can do our same trick from earlier with some crate pushing. What is this? There are eggs, and the rest of it is filled with rubbish. There's a key. Found the key inside the rubbish. Pocketed the West Wing key. Alright, so we found our key. The key that was not in that box earlier, in the TV room, is up there in that nest. So that's one of those random elements I kind of told you guys about. There we go. Jen, Jen, please get up. Now we're going to head downstairs. We're going to go towards the barn where we drove away with the car. But instead of going into the barn, we're going to explore that hallway. All right, Jennifer, pick up the pace. We always ignored this door, but this time we're going to check it out. We got ourselves in some sort of kitchen. go, lights are working. Got a couple of different things to check out. Spice rack. The dishes are stored inside. Gas bottles for a stove are lined up. Many bottles of drinks are lined up. All right, let's check this big old, I don't know, meat storage, meat locker over here. There's something shiny at the back. Oh, that's not all that's in there. Jennifer. You don't want these bugs to get you, 
So run. Get out of here. Alright, take a break for a second, Jen. So, we have a meat locker full of bugs. What are we going to do? Well, in adventure game fashion, we're going to click items against other items. We have a can of insecticide here. Alright, sprayed the insecticide. A key fell down. Now we have the golden key. Now, oddly enough, I think most of the keys don't actually show up in our inventory. We just use them or not when we get to that area. There is something else we can do in the kitchen, but hopefully that's going to be for another video. Okay, so I mentioned, you know, I keep mentioning the random nature of this game. Well, some of these rooms are random. It won't open. So that's not the room we want to check out. So that's all right, you just go ahead, take your time, go up those stairs. This is going to be one of those moments of truth. The golden key was used. Alright, so, things... Things worked out. We lucked out, and we got in here, and what I was hoping to happen did. There's that phone ringing. I'm not going to answer the phone just yet. I don't even know if we really need to answer the phone. There's still some liquid at the bottom. Ah! There's a silver key tucked underneath the glass. That silver key is what we need. Gasp! The telephone line's been cut. But how is it still ringing? Okay, so like I said, I may have had to do a little bit of 
editing to get us to where we want it to be. But we're where we want to be, and we are on the right track for the ending we want now. Well, if nothing else, we get to enjoy hearing the phone ring. And with the silver key, this door should be unlocked. Alright, we are in a very important room. What we do in this room could influence the ending of the game we get. So, absolutely must not click these books. At least not in this ending. What we are going to do is click on this mural. can't see the whole mural. One part of it is hidden behind that shelf. Well. Alright, it looks like there's, I don't know, maybe like a, a red staff or a red rod in that green vase back there. Okay, so that's that's a hint for what we want to do a little later in the game. Now let's see, we want to head over here? I think so. Alright, we are now in the west wing of the house. And here's again where the game's sort of random element plays on us. There are going to be different rooms here we can explore, but they're not always the same room each time you play. So we're going to have to do a little bit of exploring. I'm going to check this first door, see if it's what we're looking for. Nope. This does not look like good things happened here. But let's explore the room a little bit anyways. The light switch is broken. The bed doesn't seem to have been used. No, it looks like it's covered with glass, probably from that chandelier up there. Will we get attacked? Nope. Jen's just making sure her hair's okay.
seems to be locked. course the lights aren't working but we got a piano we got, a, we got we got some sort of record player over here maybe yep power outlet isn't turned on so yeah it's not gonna work gonna tickle those ivories Jen uh oh That was a mistake. <laughs> Alright, so the scissor man is after us. We need to find a place to hide. Smush! Alright, well while old scissor, uh, scissor head is stuck underneath there, we're going to get back to exploring. Now, that music room is one place where we want to check out, but there should be another room here. Nope. There are interesting things happening in this room. But not that we have to deal with right now. Is it upstairs? first floor can be seen through the gap. Now, we could close this gap with this board here. There's actually nothing we want to play with on that side of the, the house, at least in this playthrough. Okay, I do believe we found the room we're looking for. It's a creepy little room, isn't it? I feel like someone is watching me. Can you get some rest? Or is this too creepy of a room to get some rest? I don't want you at red. There we go.
It's a big clown doll. Yeah, there was some macabre stuff going on in this place. A French doll. Suspended from the ceiling. looks like a child's bed. It's completely dirty with stains and covered in dust. A record player. It seems to be broken. Although it seems to be quite old, there was a child. There's a key on top. Pocketed the ritual key. What's that sound? Uh-oh. It won't open. Alright, so yeah, we got a possessed flying doll to deal with. Oof. So, <laughs> we survived. That's not always necessarily going to be the case. That's why I wanted to recover before we got here. We've got two of the important necessary items right now. Or rather, we have one of the two important necessary items. There we go. Now, I believe initially we came in through over there. Now, was this room locked? No, this was the room with the, the glass on the bed, that's right. Hmm, this room looks just like that mural earlier. A Celadon vase has been placed here. I can see a hole going down from the opening in the floor. Yep, and if you remember, the mural we saw in the room had something like a red staff or red rod coming out of that vase. So we are going to see if we can find that staff. Thankfully, it should be close. So we were screwing around in here when old Scissormen attacked us. But if you look over here, this curtain by the window, it kind of looks like it's protruding. A 
a metal cane is stuck in the celadon pot. Obtain the cane. So that's what we need for the ritual room. So let's use our cane on this vase over here. Hmm, having a closer look, there's a square-shaped groove in the floor. Cradle under the star. There's something underneath this. Alright, now do you want to put the cane in the vase? No, you don't. Okay. We'll check out the rest of the room first. A cross has been cut into it. Strange symbols and letters have been written. Time is made to adhere. I wonder what this means. There's a dead body of a crow. It has been decapitated. A creepy painting has been hung here. Cradle under the star. I'm starting to think I may have made a mistake. I believe my error was not in checking the mural thoroughly enough. Let's go see if I'm right.
A room where a ritual is being held is depicted. I wonder if the room depicted is in this place. Okay, well let's see if I got it right this time. All right, let's give this a, what, third shot, fourth shot? Take the cane, put it in the vase, and... There we go. Get rid of those flowers. What's that sound? The hole seems to go really far down. If I use this ladder, I can probably get all the way down there. And she's not kidding. It's going far down. And there's a mysterious person in a robe. Oh, and a doggo. Well, that doggo is not our friend. But we have a robe. We could disguise ourselves, couldn't we? No, don't, don't go... Thanks, Jennifer. So let's walk forward a bit. There's the dog. Now, let me see if I remember how to do this. That's alright, yeah, take a break. You're going to need your energy for what's coming up. What's that? It's like a dog's growl. Probably because it is a dog. But dogs, dogs also have very good senses of smell. So we're going to disguise the way we smell too. The smell that I know so well. The smell of Miss Mary's perfume. Okay, we were able to sneak by the dog. Now, there's a passageway here. We could keep going forward, 
but if we kept going forward, well, that would affect the ending we could get. So we're not going to go forward. We're just going to go down this passage and see what happens. There's also a passage over here, but we don't need to look at that right now. Let's see, we got some lights. Can't play with them, though. Why is a desk here of all places? There are cans here. They seem to be kerosene. Yep, more kerosene cans. So what have they got hiding down here, in this cave? Ooh. Giant curtain covering something? What do you think it is? Let's take a look. Oh, whatever it is, Jennifer does not like it. It's... It's a giant monster baby. And I think we just woke it up. Come on, Jennifer. Up, up, up. Run, run. Now, I have no control over the poor girl right now. She is going on her own. All right. Come on, come on, come on. Climb, climb. Ah! Ugh. Ah! Keep going, keep going. Oh, what's that? One of those bottles of kerosene. And you just emulated that monster baby. Alright, so so far this has gone pretty much the same way the Super Nintendo version of the game goes. But we're about to see something that's a little different. The baby monster has been burnt away to nothingness. But now the place is collapsing. We gotta get out of here. And here's something that's a little different. This didn't happen in the Super Nintendo version. Something, or someone, just came out of the remains of that monster baby. Alright. Let's hope this elevator works.
Uh oh. Oh. Oh, poor Jennifer. So believe it or not, that's an ending. It's not a game over. That's one of the nine different ways the game can end. Uh, not exactly a great ending. And not worth the trouble that you have to go through to get it, but it's there. This ending leaves a lot of uh, questions unanswered. We don't have a lot of context still for what was going on with Scissor Man, what was going on with that giant monster baby, or, what, or who or what that person in the black robe was. Although there were a couple of hints. In this game, we only saw Anne get smashed through the window, so we have no clue what happened to Lot or Laura. Hopefully these questions and some others will be at least addressed, if not answered, in some of our future videos. I also want to warn you guys, from this point on, a lot of the videos are going to be very, very similar. Because we're going to have to go through a lot of the same stuff to get these different endings. But there are still some unique and different things that I can show you as we go and get our other six different endings. Especially when we get to endings S and A, where a lot more information will be revealed to us.